I get a lot of questions about how I travel with my dog on the road. Uh, I go on a lot of solo road trips with Kuma, my little corgi right here. And um, I've done a video of what I pack on the road trip with a dog, but I thought I would give a more behind the scenes look of what I exactly pack in the car, how I organize it, and then also along the way when I'm on the road, what I do uh, with her when she's in the car with me. So I always have a dog seat cover in the back for Kuma, not only to protect my fabric on these seats because she sheds a lot, but also so that it protects her from falling forward because this right here, you know, if I happen to accidentally step on the brakes too hard, then this will like, you know, block her and sometimes she just end up, ends up right here because there have been times when I had to stop because a stupid car was, you know, slamming their brakes and then she kind of like had to fall forward. So this kind of protects her from not falling down. I also like this particular one too because it has a zipper in the middle so I could see her easily and also she'll get some air when I'm having the AC going then she'll feel the air from the vents easily. So I usually get about halfway up because you still want to protect her. Another reason why I like this particular dog seat cover is because, hi, <laughs> we got a guest here. Uh, this is Captain. This is Candy's newest baby. It's all right, you can stay here, Captain. <laughs> so anyway, there's two pockets here. It is nice to have pockets on the two sides because I put in a lot of extras in there for dog collar and leash. I'll just put it in the pocket. A lint roller because she sheds like crazy. So I like to have this, you know, just in case for my clothes. So I can put it in the other pocket. I also have like little toys for her, like her ball. So if I go to a dog park, then I'll just have this with me. Some extra doggy bags, especially on the road. Sometimes I won't have doggy bags with me on hand. So having this like just on the side, really helps I'll just like get it out and have it with me and put it in my pocket while I'm taking her out like at the gas station or something and then I put in my personal stuff too like my umbrella so you know if it's raining then I'll have this on hand and I can protect Kuma too and she doesn't have to get wet I also like to clip a collapsible water bowl onto here so that I always have it handy uh, for Kuma when she needs water um, whenever I take a break on the road or get some gas I always give her some water so she's hydrated throughout the whole trip and this one I got with my dog bag this so this dog bag is what I take on all of my road trips any traveling that I do with Kuma I carry this bag with me and two collapsible dog bowls came with this bag so it was very very handy and I usually store this dog bag right underneath here behind the driver's seat and so whenever I stop um, if I need to get something for her in the bag it'll be easy to access. I also always bring a dog bed with me because Kuma loves dog beds so I just got this small size one on Amazon. Um, it's smaller than her typical uh, dog bed but it works and it fits her real nicely and it doesn't take up too much space in the car. I'll usually put this on top of luggage like this or if I have room, I'll put it in between um, and behind my car seat as well. So that works. And then to make Kuma a little bit more comfortable, I'll lay like a towel here, maybe on one side. Um, Cause like she just kind of likes to snuggle against something. So having a towel is really nice. And it's actually nice to have a towel just in case your dog gets dirty somewhere. So it's just handy to have. Hi, baby. Okay, baby, there you go. How is it? Checking everything out? Is everything good? Up to your standards? Huh? <laughs> yeah? Just want you to be happy. Okay, I got this little blanket for you here. Okay? Got all this. All this for you. Okay, she doesn't care. <laughs> Bye, Crystal. Bye, Kuma. I'm starting my journey from California to Florida. We're going back home. We were with Candy and we stayed there for a little over a month and now we're heading back. It's January, gotta get back to home in Tampa. So I'm gonna take like a week on this road trip and along the way, I'll just show you what I do with Kuma, um, you know, when I have to make those pit stops and um, 
other little things that I do on the road. So, a lot of you asked what I do when I have to use the restroom. So right now I'm at a rest area. I try to stay in a spot where it's shaded and close to the restroom if, you know, if it's possible. I'm just gonna leave Kuma in the car real quick. I think it usually takes me, you know, less than five minutes. Um, but yeah, just in and out. And she's usually fine. Okay, baby, I'll be right back, okay? Let's go use the restroom. And I'm back. So that literally only took me like three minutes, maybe even less, and she's completely fine. But since I left her in the car for a little bit, she does get a little bit um, anxious. She's like, where are you going? Uh, so I feel a little bit bad about that. So I do give her treats and I keep some treats in the center console here. And she knows it. So let's give her some little treats, you know, for being a good girl waiting. There you go. a good one to stop at. Usually it's a pretty big gas station or a good sized gas station with good restrooms and a little area um, where I could take Kuma. Nice shade for Miss Kuma while I use Proceed. the restroom real quick. Hello Miss Kuma. So I usually keep the leash here in the pocket. So it's easy access, right? Put this on. Okay, let's go. We'll try over here. It's not much of an area for dogs to relieve themselves around here, but this will do. There's a little area here. Yeah, Kuma used to not be able to relieve herself on rocks because uh, she was so used to grass all the time in Florida. Now she's fine peeing on dirt. Okay, you ready? Good girl, good girl. Come on. Oh, so good. All righty. Oh, <laughs> watch out. Okay. Let's go in. In you go. And then I usually have a bull for her on the side. It's usually hooked up, but the carabiner broke or it's kind of loose. Give her some water. All of a sudden it got loud around here. Thank you, what a good girl. Approaching another rest area on the road. And this one is at mile marker 53 in New Mexico, going on I-10 East. So it's gonna take a restroom break and also take Kuma out for a quick break as well. So yeah, rest areas typically don't have uh, shaded areas where you can park your car. So I am super quick when I go in, so Kuma's not in the car too long. Let's see, I guess. Windy over here. All right, let's go. So this is the rest area here. Pretty windy. It's like in the 50s. There is no good area for pets to go here. Usually they have like a sign that says pets over here, but it looks like there's somebody leaving their pets over there too. Oh, good girl. Okay. Let's go back in. Oh boy, it's cold. Okay. Let's 
get back in here. And up you go. Let's see if you'll drink water. I always like to make her drink water on these stops just so she's hydrated. Sometimes she doesn't drink water and sometimes she does. And I always give her a little treat. Because you're a good girl in the car. One of the questions that I got about um, taking Kuma into hotels was whether or not I sneaked her in, um, which I thought was hilarious. I guess if you have a really small dog, it is possible, but with Kuma, there's no way I could hide her. Um, she's too big and, you know, I go through the lobby in and out all the time, so they would just know that I had a dog. So I've never snuck her in. There are times when I don't mention it, that I have a dog um, and I just bring her in. Sometimes, you know, people will just automatically, you know, mark that I have a dog. Other times they forget, so I've gotten that route sometimes, but other hotels, they do make you sign a waiver um, if you do have a pet, so it is good to let them know that you have one uh, because you're supposed to sign a document, uh, basically stating that, you know, um, you uh, adhere to all the rules, you'll pick up your dog's waist, or you know, don't leave your dog in the room, um, things like that. Okay, here we are, Drury in. Just gotta check in. All right, baby, ready to go check in? Let's go. charge a $50 deposit and okay. we'll get that back when you check out okay okay and I did get you a room away from the elevator um, on a higher floor facing away from the highway okay perfect thank you Good thing about Durian is that they do have free dinner and free breakfast here and the pet fee is only $35 per night I'm only staying for one night so $35 a night is not that bad. What am I here? Okay, so uh, jury in rooms are usually like this. It's um, very standard, but there is some a little bit of design they have here on the headboard. Pretty spacious for the most part. And uh, Kuma likes carpeted floors, so bonus for her. I don't know why she went to this little corner here. What's wrong with you? I also request rooms uh, on the highest floor possible. Also, I want to be away from the elevators and away from the highway uh, because I want less noise as possible. Because Kuma is kind of a guard dog, uh, she does bark when she hears any noise outside. Nice little grassy area here, a patch of grass, which is nice. Hard to find in New Mexico or Arizona because as you can see, a lot of that is rocks and dirt. So it is nice that they have a patch of grass here. So there are going to be times when it's raining on the road and then, you know, you try to outrun the rain, but you just have to stop and go and let your dog out. So in those cases, just remember to have a water resistant jacket. And then also remember to bring an umbrella. I just have one always in my car. Um, or if your dog really hates the rain, then um, you can get him like a raincoat. I actually got Kuma a raincoat in California before I left, and I think it's so adorable. You wanna put on your adorable raincoat? Mm -hmm. I got her this cute raincoat. Okay. This is good too, to, you know, not get them too wet. Okay, there we go. You're all set now. Okay, ready? Let's go. And go this way. Okay, go peepees. Why don't you go peepees? Man, I hate rainy days like this. <laughs> Just makes things more difficult. Oh, good girl. So I took her out real quick, put her some gas, use the bathroom, and she's all good. All right, baby? 
Yep, she's already all relaxed back there. Turn right onto South 10th uh, Street, then your destination will be on the right. Your destination is on the right. All right, so we're here, and um, I usually take Kuma into the hotel to check in with me first, put her up in the room, and then um, come back and get the rest of my stuff. And let's go in. I got the fourth floor. You excited about that? Right. See what we got here. What do you think? So this room, I just got a king size because I think it was cheaper. You gonna rub on that carpet? I knew it. It's Kuma's favorite thing to do is Rub herself on the carpet. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now that I've uh, checked in, uh, I'm gonna go get the rest of my stuff. What are you doing? Kuma, can you find something under there? Something you're not supposed to, maybe? Okay, Miss Kuma, so I'm gonna go get the rest of my stuff. You stay here, okay? So I'm gonna leave the camera here to see what she does while I'm away. She usually just sits by, like right by the door. So I think if I leave it here, it'll capture the action. I'm in 401. So I did this new thing where I put Kuma's dog bed in the back seat with her. I usually hide the dog bed underneath the seats or I put it on top of my suitcases in the back because I just didn't want it in her way in the back seat so she can just have the most room possible. But I had to put it in the back seat yesterday because I bought some extra things in Waco. So I put her dog bed on the back seat and she loves it. She instantly used it when she got into the car. And, you know, I put the blanket on top too and she just looks so cozy in there. Like I should have done that a long time ago. I just didn't think she would use it. I thought she you know, would have thought it was in her way or something. <laughs> so if you have a dog that likes to use dog beds like I do, maybe try doing that in the back seat and they'll be more comfortable. I got a super small dog bed and Kuma's, I don't know how long she is, but she is a petite size Corgi. She weighs about 26 pounds. So she's not small, small, but she's not, you know, a medium sized dog either. Anyway, I'll put a link below to the dog bed that I got that's been great for travels. All right, so I'm gonna stop by Busy Bees now, uh, which is one of my favorite gas stations in Florida. They have lots of gas pumps. Um, they have a huge uh, restroom and clean restrooms. And they have a separate uh, pet relief area with grass for the dogs. And so if you're going on I-10, it's on exit 283. Okay, so here it is, Busy Bees. Wow, it's very busy. So yeah, you'll see to the right here, that's a pet relief area with lots of grass. Okay, I see an open spot there. Okay, so what I usually like to do is uh, fill up the gas first, and then at the same time, I'll take Kuma out and have her relieve herself. She gets so loud and excited sometimes, it's ridiculous. Oh, 
Okie dokie, baby. Ready to go relieve yourself. Take the leash out of there. Okay. So yes, this is their pet relief area. Lots of grass, a pet weight station, and a happy camper. And, you know, I let her walk around just a tad so she can stretch out her legs a bit. All right. Get some water out for you, too. Get that ready. Okay. Come on up. All right. Just drink some water. There you go. Good girl. Good babies. Yep, always keep your dog hydrated. Alrighty. So now I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I keep my car in the shade so that she doesn't get too hot. Um, sometimes I leave the windows down a little bit too, but most of the time I'm done in like five minutes or less, so she's totally fine. solo cross-country road trip with Kuma. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.